This is the fried man. Touch my beard and tell me I'm pretty. You're pretty. Mark Carter himself. And welcome back <laughs> to my vaping experience. For today, we'll be talking about Smock's RPM 160. Well, normally I like to show you the packaging the device came in, but I think I must have left it out in Sevierville. I hate that, but this is a dual 18 650 device. Um, it's got a nice screen on it. Uh, you power it up, you can power it down up to 160 watts. Mine is currently set at 50 watts. And sometimes I vape it at 45. Uh, i show you the pod that it comes with. Okay, uh, right, it's got two strong magnets on it. That's the fill port right there. And uh, that's the hole that the coil would go into. I'm not going to open this or anything, but they're pretty big, beefy coils. And uh, so once you got it all together, it goes into the this pod right here. Now, a con I have with it is, uh, well, I love the fact that you don't have to take out the pod okay to fill the device they got it on the side and the side makes it tricky for me especially because I'm colorblind I can't see the feel I can't see the level with this curve and and uh, so so in order for me to feel it it's like I'm looking over into the hole and taking the ball out ever so often and it can get a little messy filling it basically Whereas if they had, I don't know, had the fill port not on the side, but on the top, maybe slid this over and had the fill port up top like they did with its predecessor. See there? That's easy. You can see what the hell you're doing. And it's not messy at all. Um, but I do like that this, this feels... Uh, like this will be my my to go mod, my pocket mod. Not since uh, the E Leaf, uh, uh, what the E Grip Two that I love so much, but it's Spitfire and it, it spit back, not Spitfire. It spit back, you know, and it was bad about that. But not since the E Grip uh, Two have I had a on to go mod where. Yeah, I've got the full control and it's dual, it feels like a house mod, but you put this in your pocket and not really worry about it leaking. Um, it's a great device. I love this thing. I thought it would replace my house mod altogether, but I have another review coming on the Smock Scar 18. I'll be doing that review uh, next month sometime, the month of September, and I'll be doing an unboxing as well. I'm so excited. Lori already opened hers, is in love with it, so, okay, that's another video topic, another day. Back to this puppy right here. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but like I say, the fill port on it is definitely a con, and filling it can be messy. Um, now I recently trimmed my nails a little too short, so opening the fucker ain't too easy, but, uh, once I grow my nose, my, my nose, I grow, I grow my na getting all tongue-tied over here. Once I grab, once I grow my fingernails out some, it'll be easier for me to open this again. But, uh, anyhow... Another con with this device is unlike its predecessor and the predecessor before it, the, the RPM 40, RPM 80, those other devices all came with two pods. Unfortunately, the, the RPM 160 does not come with two pods. 
but they have another pod. It's uh, It will be compatible with the coil I'm crazy excited for. Uh, but for whatever reason, they decided to make you go buy two different pods or buy a separate pod uh, or buy another device completely. Anyhow, this is the pod uh, that I'm wanting to buy that works with the V9 coil. I've already decided that I'm going to end up buying uh, the version that comes with the V9 pod just on the chance that the pods are not interchangeable. I don't know why they would do that, but they might. I mean, they're making me buy another pod, so I might as well buy the other device just to make sure and then I'll buy extra pods and then that way and then that way uh damn this tastes good it is uh by uh Freeman that's the juice right there I'm vaping. Straight up pineapple, and I hadn't got a whole lot left. It's going to be so sad. It's going to be real sad because I believe Freeman, uh, they're going to be one of the companies heavily affected by the, by the requirements coming down. But anyhow, we'll see how that plays out. This device, I forget what I was going with this, but yeah, I'm going to buy another device. I'm going to get some extra pods, and that way, uh, the other con I have with this is the texture, the way it feels in my hand. I mean, I love the way it feels in my hand, but it's the texture. I don't like the finish, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And uh, Lori already likes this V9 coil. So I'm going to have this, this device with that coil regardless. And if Lori don't mind the finish on this device, well then I'll give it to her. So my overall device, uh, my overall thoughts on this device, absolutely love it. I hate to feel poor it. Oh, I fucking hate it. They really should have had it on the top. The only other con I have is the fact it didn't include both pods with one package the way they've done with every other rendition of the RPM. Very... Uh, makes me very furious. However, hell, the coils that that are with this device here, uh, with this pod here is, is a great, great coil. I'm just going to want the other coil because ultimately I'm going to get back to my favorite having one coil, just shopping for one coil for all of my devices. That's where I'm going. But anyhow, I haven't, I haven't had a, a pocket mod, a carry with me on the go mod that I've enjoyed as much as this one since I retired this guy and with the coil that's coming out it'll fit this guy but believe it or not I think this guy with two batteries is actually lighter than this device here but I love, I love both devices, but no, I'll probably just carry this device. <laughs> well, I guess that's about all I have to say about this matter and this device. I guess a fully erect thumb. I like it. I just wish it had come with the other fucking pod. So if you're listening smock, you know, piss me off. But I like, I like the device. I really, really do.
you got a flavor on the coil that it comes with is, is good, but I'm going to want the other. I think I've said that redundantly. Anyhow, I have been the fried man, Mark Carter himself. You've been watching my vaping experience. And until next time, on. What? That's what you say in every video. All right. <laughs> Vape on. <laughs>